Hello people YouTube, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to Pixelated Golfers and this is the results of the 2016 PGA Championship. Um, I made a bit of a mistake when I, I made this event. I actually made a mistake with the last event which is the PGA, the 2015 PGA Championship. Uh, which is four rounds and I only set it for one day, I forgot to put it to four days. So I had to, Friday was a, an off day. And then Saturday I made up a two round weekend event. And that was the 2016 PGA Championship at Baltus Roll War, which is a course made by Phoenix J, I believe. But I set it to red tees, so it was playing extremely easy. Uh, so South Stand won the event at 32 under par, two, 2,654 coins that he got, which is a decent amount of money. Um, I ended up ninth, 23 under par. I played okay. I kind of, I vented a bit of anger in the first round. Second round, I, I missed a lot of chances. Probably should have been a lot better, but it was under par at least. That's the main thing. So we go on to the next event, which is going to be the usual Monday, Tuesday pro arm. And it's usually the Pro-Am event that I'm playing in TGC Tours. Uh, yeah, there's playing well south of the world, but I have a, quite a marginal. <laughs> he missed a few events. Gap's too big. So here we go, it's a John Daly tail open because you can't put a uh, cocktail <laughs> because of reasons. Uh, I just laugh at that. I'm, I do apologise, but this is the this is the CC A. I think it's also a B and C event for the challenge circuit on TGC tours. And as I say again, I'll probably state this for a while. Um, my TGC tours at the moment is under speculation as I have been accused of a fair play infringement, or as I like to put it, um, cheating. Uh, they believe that my my metrics from two weeks ago compared to the round I played last week on it was abnormal and I basically get told that if I play like that my rounds won't be accepted which basically means I'm banning all uh, major events which I don't really play in major events because I can't I don't don't qualify for them um, and also I think special events and, and, and such like so at the moment my TGC Tours career is under speculation and it might not really happen. So uh, this is the prep for that. Now there is a promotion event on so I don't know whether to play the promotion event and skip this event or play this event and also play the promotion event or I don't know. It's the beginning of the week I could play the promotion event first and then play the uh, CC-A event. Uh, I'm just going to continue on this week especially because it will throw up, it might th if it throws up the same scenario, i.e. my scores are wiped, then Hello, so be it. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is John McCarthy and we are about so this to is play Horseshoe some golf B. here on the TGC Network. I think I have played this and course. We are ready to roll it with does our look first familiar. round action here. Let's get down to that first tee and see what happens. So I do have a new controller. It's the PS. I bought. A, I had a PS4, the, the original PS4, on the day of release. I then decided to upgrade to the PS4 Pro, and what I did was I sold my my original PlayStation to my my daughter, and used the money from that to put towards the PS4 Pro because I was getting quite a good deal on it and I had a, a control pad from that PS4 Pro which is brand new my Darth Vader limited edition PS4 controller which I've used for many years maybe four or five years maybe is basically giving up the ghost which I mean it's lasted quite a long time it's still playable in some games but some games even Gran Turismo when I was playing it was kind of loose so I've got a new controller. Yeah, I played this course. This, this looks familiar. Um, I 
I want to play that cop. That might be too long though. I'm hoping it's not. Oh, laser straight. Look at that. Yeah, I think this one's gonna find the fairway. Oh, that needs to. That needs. To, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, that's really close. That's one of those tee shots. You want to be maybe a little bit further back, but that's a perfect number. That is a perfect, per good, really good lie. Um, let's get the wind sorted. It's ten miles per hour. Let's just adjust for that a little bit. Uh, let's maybe just put a tiny bit of deal off. This should be all over it. This could be good. It's heading for the green here. Ooh, bite! Not bad. All right, and he's on. He's right and on line. Putt is for birdie. Easy putt. Green speed's one seven eight. Easy putt. Good, good putt. Good start. Good birdie. And after the first hole, so the John Daly uh, expletive tail open because you can't have cocktail. And teeing off on this next hole, wind so could yards. be an issue on this one. And, Par uh, three. Well, I guess stroke index to find one out. on this hole. Really nice looking hole. Plenty of green to work with. It's one seven nine six foot down. So that's playing roughly one seven seven. One seven two could be good here. Um, can you accommodate for the wind? Maybe just loft a tiny bit. Set my controller. Hit the shot. Get another good day. Uh, shot. If it rolls up, it could be good. It's not bad. Yep, it's in there. And with that, he will be. So I've already played. A, I played a, the promotion event practice round. Just checking that out. So I've actually had like eighteen holes of play. So I'm kind of warmed up. Which is not usually my style when I play these these events. Should make this putt. Boom, baby. And Set a cup. decent putt. Birdie, birdie start. And he's moving in the right direction, moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. And next up is a par four, folks. So I, I've said this before. I really need to start engaging a little bit more in my, my videos, especially doing like commentary, a little bit more. Um, and I really should put the results. I've I've actually got a Facebook page for Pixelated Golfers Association. Um, that's that's something that they could bring in in the new game is like integration of like a Facebook page. I think could be quite good. I think that mm, maybe aim for that bunker. A little bit of draw on it. Maybe just a little bit of height, so a bit of extra juice. Worst case scenario is going to be in a bunker. Best Shot case scenario is going to be in the game. That's the bunker. Yeah. Didn't really get it turning enough. But yeah, some yeah, kind of integration with a Facebook same. page could be quite good. Um, I probably really do need to start posting the results up. I, I just haven't got into a, like a format yet of doing that. Based on like time and you know doing other stuff, it's just not as easy. Uh, let's see, oh, a bit of waft on this. Probably had it pretty much near full. All right, uh, we're all a bit shy. We could have actually went full shot in that. Very nice shot. I kind of felt I wanted to hit it full shot, but I didn't because I thought it might. May I just have uh, got away from us? Okay. Uh, difficult break. It's probably actually going to break quite a bit. Ooh, oh, not bad. We missed it in the high side. Pulled the, the, the backstroke a little bit though. And this one's for par. So we get the part. We should really get a part. Well, we should really get a birdie in that hole. It's not. That one, he's, uh, it's actually drivable. Going to be moving down in the stand. Yeah, we did take a two wood. 
driver we probably had to hit like a partial backswing type shot. And now the fourth hole. Right, par five. It's just quite a nice looking hole, the trees are nice. A little hill on that side, bunker there. Quite like a hole that, oh, I was going to see if we've got possibilities of going down that fairway. Uh, I mean, we could still get down that fairway, possibly. I don't think that angle one's going to be good, though. So we'll just stick with the fairway. We should be able to lace up over this tree. Wow, there is so I'm back playing really well again. You know, I've got my new track. controller. I feel absolutely on top of the world. And the TGC Tour things is a little bit of a uh, thorn in the side of my... Oh, just a thorn in the and side is the expression. It's kind of, out. you know... It's kind of making me a little bit angry at the moment. Oh, this could be good. This could be really good. Uh, the wind's just behind. I think this is going to be... Bang on, I think I'm just going to leave it. Maybe aim there a little bit. The wind's going to take it down a touch. I think that slope's going to take it towards the hole. Did I see slope there? A little bit. A little bit firm there. We could maybe just have put some loft on that. And that's a pretty inspiring shot just there, hitting this par 5 green. Oh, baby, 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 look at this possibilities. Part. Not too much break. It's one of these putts, I don't think this is going to do too much. I don't know whether just to go left edge. I'm just going to go outside left edge. It's tracking. Come on! And the Center long cup. putt will drop. Ooh. Very nice stroke on that one. All right, moving up on the leaderboard and into third Eagle place baby. after that hole. Let's go. Okay, let's see what the fifth has in store today. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice one course. It's it's. I use the term golf coursey. You know, it works like a golf course. Uh. The one we played, the, the one round Wednesday course, that Sky, what was it called, Sky, Rooftop Sky, something, Bonanza, something or another. I didn't mind playing that golf course, I thought it was a little, little bit too, too yeah, much elevation, so and it's quirky, you know, it's like a, a fantasy course. I kind of enjoyed playing it, but I didn't enjoy it, if, that, if that makes any kind of sense. And from 155 yards out. Right, what we got? Oh, fantastic light. Wind's just biting over a little bit. Um, six foot up, so it's playing 156. Wind's about 160. Oh, I think 160, a bit of loft here could be, could be nice. Right, come on. Come on, baby. Bounce a little. Oh, just a little bit more yeah, on, on that. This one's about 10 was good. feet from the cup. Oh, again, there's not a lot of break here. Probably just in the left edge. 10 foot. Made More it. Just started dragging a little bit to the left there, but not that much. So BTR Tiger is 9 under par through 14 along with M Teston 9 under through the same, we're also playing partners. South Stand is 4 under through 6. South Stand has got the best avatar for the par four. in the golf club 2019. I think he changes it, I think there's slight variations in his, his lip size and that but it's... I think I've possibly actually had a nightmare when I've seen South Stan's avatar in his golf game and it's actually quite scary. This is a gorgeous looking hole. Look at that little bridge there just down just below the knees. Uh, you get that nice valley. It's one of those tee shots that you just want to drive and just rip a, a nice turn and draw down that, 
that fairway. And hopefully make it on the fairway. Yeah, that's a really nice looking hole. A little bit of slope there is going to take you back into the centre. Probably quite important to aim to that, that left-hand side. Like that. About 100 yards to the pin. Again, good numbers here, but scoring numbers, you know, 98 yards, 11 foot up. Playing about 102, the wind is going to bring that back a touch. So I would say that's going to throttle that back to maybe 96. I think the 94 could be good here. Maybe just deal off a tiny, tiny bit. Maybe account for that wind, a bit of slopage. Let's get the shot. Let's get dialed in. We hit a fast. Swing line was good, but it's going to tug it to the, the left. And a little bit long. Yeah, that's a poor that shot there. Putt is going to be an epic one, that's for sure. But they're on the green. Okay, we've got a little bit of slope initially. I think we go a bit here. It's downhill. So we need to be careful. A little bit aggressive on it. So uh, close. Yeah, we're going to drift by a little bit. I'm watching the putt as it goes. By the hole there. Not a good putt, actually. Quite and worse. about 13 feet away here. And we have drifted by. I think this is just on... Just outside the left edge. Did I hit it? Did I hit it? Didn't hit it. Damn, that was nasty. And just missing. Ah, that's annoying. That's it's one of those holes where you lose nice it. Have. And with bogey. the cap, that's a bogey. And currently sitting at four under. Uh, that day. from that that distance, that is an, for horrendous. That actually board. feels more like a double bogey than a bogey. That really should okay, should have got us a, a, a bump because it wasn't a, it wasn't a look at this. This looks this does look gorgeous because that was a, a scoring uh, opportunity. Uh, one five five. I think one forty eight could be good here. The wind. I feel the wind's going to take that a little bit. There's a little bit of a backstop at the back there. You possibly could go long and bring it back off that slope. Um, I think this number's going to be okay. Walk in, shot. Going with the nine iron. It's not bad. It's on line. Oh, it's a beautiful shot. Yeah, you could use that bank really. I think he's going to like that. And this putt is for birdie. But it's not really a shot that you need to use the bank. It's not like you've got a long tee shot, a long club where you, you don't have any back, well, back spin or stop in the ball. And he's gonna move up two you could use that, that bank. After that hole. So we're five under par, we get that birdie back in the next hole. And now so ten under par is leading at the moment. Again, look at this, it's just gorgeous. Really nice looking course. I kind of want to get back into course design. I, I was actually thinking, sometimes when I, if I'm at work, I have these kind of moments where I think through quite a lot of uh, aspects of various things, life, um, and just various bits and bobs. And I was thinking of doing like a, another course build, but I attempted to build a course. I'm by no means a fantastic course builder, but maybe set out, maybe trying to do like a nine hole golf course over like nine videos. The idea would be to build a hole every video, potentially. Um, and maybe just build the core mechanics of that hole. Put bunkers, trees, whatever. And then in my spare time, I can maybe like flesh it out a little bit. And then when I do the next video, um, you know, maybe just play that hole, just say that I did this, I did that. That's, that's a possibility. I'm not saying I'm going to do that, but... That's a possibility, right? What is this? Mm. This is a difficult one. Do I want to go for the green? And have possibly quite a long putt. Have we got a downhill wide? Nah, it's pretty level. Or do we go for the... Do you know... 
I'm going to play this. I want something about 94-ish yards, plus or minus a couple. So, I'm going to lay up. I'm not going to take the shot on, because I feel that I, I believe myself a, a long putt, which could be horrible. It could give us merit as a, a, a birdie yeah, chance. Probably like that. But I'd rather just come in with a, a decent number, like 91 yards, that's perfect. Wind, 95. It's pretty about 96. Slightly downhill. Maybe just a little bit of waft on that. Come on, shot's good. Yeah, the shot's the yardage good. good. Yeah, it's not bad. Could have Man, been a little bit closer. Looking like nine feet to the cup. I think this is right edge. Ooh, Didn't really. Unfortunate. Mm, kinda hit it soft. And this putt is for So I just par. lost it on the line a little bit. That's a missed opportunity. The idea was there, you know, play the pitch shot in. And after that get one, it close. Uh, holding steady just kinda, in third place. Yeah, the putt wasn't perfect. So 10 under past our leading, they're in the last hole. And on to the we are five under par. Got along quite nice. I mean, that's 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 not a bad target. Now let's play the drive here. A little bit of heat, a little bit of fade, just to hold it against that wind. Oh, beautiful straight line we'll there. Find some fairway here. Perfect. Where is the pins? Where is the, the green? I hope it's not blocked by that tree. Good number, 116, but that tree, is that going to affect us? Good why. So, we are 118 wind 122. I would say that's perfect for this club. I'm just going to go in. Hopefully it doesn't hit this tree. Shot meter's good. Have we got the number? This is heading towards the green. Oh, baby. Beautiful. Again, that kind of club. In about four Scoring distance. From the Euro should be absolutely within a, a, a bucket lid of the hole. And that'll drop the birdie. So we get the birdie. Get to six on the par. Let's see what the guys have done in the last hole. So BTR Tiger, birdie's the last to go 11 under, and test on pars. So he is in 10 under par, clubhouse leaderboard, or the clubhouse leader is BTR Tiger at 11 under par. So that is, okay, I usually, I usually check the score, car through oh. the front nine, but we're, we're 6 under par, but we're, we're going along nicely. I don't know if this is the tee boxes for the the challenge event. Now, are we going to run out of drive space? Um, do you know what? I'm going to hit the I'm going to hit this a little bit extra juice on it, bit of draw. I think the driver might have run out of fairway. It may have been touch and go. It may have been close. So let's just put it in the fairway. Maybe be okay he's though. Be happy with it's, that. it's a tough one. And about 175 yards to the pin. Yeah, because I've done by that extra 20 yards or so. 20, 40 yards. Or 20, 30 yards possibly. Right. Numbers are pretty good. Wind's pretty much zilch. It's 180 to that flag stick. I think a 172 could be good here. I think a 172 should be perfect. Looks like a seven. Short on meter it. is a little bit hooked at the top, but it's staying on line. It's going to run by just a touch, but that's a good. That's pretty decent. Okay, did run on a little on. bit. And this pot is for birdie. Ten foot. It's breaking a little bit. It's outside. Maybe a cup outside. Oh, 
There she goes. Was the centre cup? Grab the right, the, the left edge, sorry. So we'll go to seven under par. Goes in the leaders. We have got a little bit and of time. Moving on to the 11th hole. So here we go. We have got 142, 20 up. Probably playing about seven. So it's playing about 149. I have got 140. That's almost dialed in there. Accommodate for the, the wind. Let me put a little bit of waft on this. Let's get dialed in in the shot. Yeah, the shot is good. How are we for yardage? It's looking pretty good. If it just hops up a little. Yeah, that's in there. Again, we will get him a little bit closer just to make it yeah, a little bit safer on this putt. Putt's pretty straight. It's an easy putt. Above yeah, the eight under. Drop for birdie. Course is playing pretty easy. Yeah, but I don't know if I've got the right T set for the actual CC A event. Nice driving hole here. We could probably actually power this up a little bit. A little bit of heat, a little bit of drop. Use that wind. Oh, this one's looking pretty good. From 130 yards. Uh, we've got a little bit of a slope here. Let's accommodate for that. We're 32 feet up. That's playing roughly almost 11. 141. The wind's going to dial that back to 135. Okay. A little bit of loft on this. 136. Shot meters bang on. Yardage. If that just bites a little. Yeah. Didn't grab too much. It's not a bad like shot. That. It's not really dialed in as what it birdie. should be. Right, put is a little bit of a slope. It's kind of makeable, but it shouldn't really cause us any cause for concern. Tom, did we hit it? The line was good. <clears throat> Didn't really hit it. The green speed, I thought that would have carried a little bit more. And tapping in for the power. I need a drink, my throat. throat's going a bit croaky. And after that hole, currently sitting at 8 under. And he's tied so, for third place. <clears throat> no change in the top of the leaderboard because they are in the clubhouse. Take a 390s in the clubhouse at 5 under. South stand is plain, I think. He's through, 4 under through 6. We're 8 under All right, through 12. Let's see what uh, happens on the 13th hole here. 13th hole, par 5. Right, the wind's in our face. I might just put a little bit of heat and a little bit of draw. We should not run out of fairway. Now, I have hit that bit fast. I think we're bunker bound here, folks. Oh, uh, the cuss. That was not a good drive. But we did hit it fast, so it probably did deserve to go in the bunker. Alright, now let's see what happens out of this bunker. 264. Oh, Pretty flat, eh. Pretty flat, why? What kind of number can we get? I'm mean, actually getting no bad percentage. I mean, we're getting. Oh, that's risky. I don't think that is worth it, to be honest. And I don't think we can get up over those trees. So let's go. Let's put this down. Maybe go there. Let's just do the way up. Course management. You don't always have to go for the green. Back in the fairway with not a whole lot of distance. If we didn't make the bunker, that would have been a really good opportunity to get that course. Like a possible eagle attempt. Right, 84, 8 foot up. Playing about 87. The wind's in our face though, so. It's a bit of an odd one. I feel this. I'm not. When it comes to this type of club, I'm a bit iffy on the, the numbers. 
Um, I'm just going to quickly go over the numbers again in my head. 87. It's probably playing about 94, 95 with the wind. I'm going to deal off the touch because that is a little bit of a down, uphill slope. Um, yeah, this could go kind of wrong. I'm kind of uncertain in this wind. The shot may be a bit long, folks. Yeah, it's went long. Yeah, okay. It carried a little bit extra. The wind, I, I don't think the wind affects it as much. Right, I'm probably going to put this. Right, let's see what's on the. Slope's down a bit. It's not a huge slope. Uh, I don't want to drive it. Quite a big, quite a big slope here. I need to be careful with this. I don't want to lose it. Going easy. Yeah, that's a good part. Good, good distance control there. We we did enough to potentially make the putt, this but we putt didn't is essential put too to much on part. that we were going to lose it. Yeah, that's a par. To be honest, again, par five. We really should be looking at about it. after that one, sitting at eight under par for the we're day. We're still at eight under par. Jeff Cobb sevens at eight, eight under through fifteen. On the we need to get and to like double digits here. Par four. Again, double digits is the, 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 the key word there. Again, I think we can actually go with a Darth Vader here. Go with a bit of extra power. Go with the wind. Instead of going with the wind, let's go with the wind. Good drive. Again, quite a nice looking hole, just the, the way it shapes and that kind of bumps yeah, I think like that. grass. And about quite good. Five yards to the pin. Again, good number, good scoring number, 106, 16 up, 5. Playing 111, the window is going to dial that back to 104. Uh, play this one just a little bit of off, we'll have got an uphill shot here. Again, shot me is looking good. And this one's heading so towards down the a little green. Bite. Get a little bit of bite. Again, ball yeah, part figures. It's, it's kind of from here. It's about ten feet it's away. It's kind of there. I would say breaks outside right. And that she goes. goes for the bird. Gets us to nine under par. So we're on the brink and of double nine digits. Under is the score after that hole. Jeff Cobb seven birdies. 16 to go 9 under as well. Right, 15 yeah, hole, 4, for 6, 8, par, par 4. four hole. Downhill, now how much is that downhill? 85, so the ball's going to carry a little bit more. Might aim here, just a little touch of draw just to get it turning a little bit. It's looking like this is bound for the short stuff. Oh, there we go, perfect. From 170 yards out. Right, 172 is a long approach par four. It's 15 ups, it's playing five. 177 wind. It's 183 now. I could play the 172 and deep. I think I will play the 172 and just deal off just ever so slightly. Get the slope there. Get set for the shot. And going shot meter again is bang on. on. Do we have the yardage? Is it going to roll just a little bit for me? Oh, keep going, baby. No, you can stop. You can stop. You can stop. You can stop. Yeah, I mean that's it's kind of frustrating that when you get yeah, that that, that shot. green shape that's, that slopes after club, the hole. I think that was a really good shot, and it looked as if it was going to be like you know within say 10, 10, 10 foot, but so we ended up off the green. We're now into like maybe a possible chip in scenario. So 
So I'm maybe gonna play just a little bit. Just a tiny bit of wolf. Maybe play this quite full. Uh, we could maybe just have played it normal. I just took a little bit this more. This one's about three wolf. feet from the oh, cup. Yeah, that that could have been a good hole there. I thought the approach was really looking good, but that and I'm the slope at the back of it, the hole just took us off the green, which was kind of frustrating. And definitely one of the reasons for so that Jeff Cobb seven birdies, seventeen to go ten under. And now setting up on so the next hole, sixteen is a par four stroke index sixteen, so it's not playing. It's playing quite easy. Oh baby, it's two eight one. Let's get the driver engaged, see what we've got. Yeah, this is This is interesting. It's one of, that that wind may get us bouncing just before that before the green. If it bounces there it could be absolutely perfect. If it doesn't, we might go by the hole a little bit. So I'm hoping this actually engages in that, that fringe. Yeah, it's too long. Oh, it wasn't far off. Okay, it's going to leave the long putt. And that's just inspiring to watch, ladies and gentlemen. He off oh, the tee on right. this par four. That's hot stuff. Okay, I see a little bit of movement. It's not that bad. I think it's only a couple of cups outside, right? Gonna go easy in the putt. Whoa, yeah, it's sewn up and out. Ooh, just yeah, maybe wasn't here. as much. A couple of cups. Possibly could have made that actually. That was a this putts for that was a makeable putt. We have run it by the hole a little bit. Yeah, there we go, easy nice birdie. Putt. But hole at that. That should have. That should be a, like a standard one, three uh, all day every day. To third place. So Jeff Cobb seven board. birdies the last to join BTR Tiger at the top. Eleven under par. We are ten under par. Going along nicely. And setting up for the par three hole. So again, this course is really nice in the eye. It's it's as I say, a, a term it quite golf coursey. So we've got one seven seven, fourteen, five off that, one seven two. The wind's gonna bring that down. To possibly one six four. For God's sake! They're going to start charging us for bank cards. I think that's about the fifth one she's had this year. Going with the eight iron. Pulled that a little bit. I think it's going to be okay. Oh, this could be good. Is this in the hole? I'm calling it. Hole one. Oh! Oh, that was close. And he's on the green. This one's about a seven footer. Okay, maybe just outside or left. There we go. That one will go. Come on. I guess it's to eleven under. Is that tied and for the clock? He will move in to a tie for the top Ooh, spot. Ooh, baby. And he has got to like that. Hey, what have we got? Par five. Wow, stroke index fourteen. It's not playing the hardest. Five hundred and forty-four yards. Water to the, the left. I think we put a little bit of extra heat on it. Just a touch of draw. I want it to actually come back a little bit. When I put extra power and in the shot, I usually do a little a bit of, of power there. Uh, a little bit of draw or fade because it just tends to hold it a little bit better. Because if you go if you go to intention with it straight, sometimes you do vary a little bit. Whereas if you yeah, put draw spin on it, you tend to get that draw spin. From here. Right, good white, slight uphill, two, three, six. Uh, now we, we don't really want to mess with this too much. Uh, I think we just play this club in. Slightly uphill. Let's accommodate for the wind. I think we just go for it. Might go long, but we're going to be putting for eagle. 
on a chip. You really don't want to mess too much with hitting like a partial bat swing. And you really uh, mess apologies it up. to the folks at home. That actually ended up in the rough. Look yeah, what we got here. Yeah, pretty decent. So we are looking at ten yards. Ten yard chip, thirteen yards. I'd probably actually go nine and just hit it full. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, it just dribbles by that little bit. And this Maybe should put a little bit of waft on it. Oh, yeah, we've not made this easy. That really should have been a tap in, bird it. Ooh, it looked close. Oh, we missed it. Just Damn, go. that was for the weed. That's for the cop about lead. a two footer. So I missed the opportunity there. That that was really that chip wasn't the best. So we finish eleven under. We're tied three way tie for the lead at the moment. Let's check the scorecard. That was not bad. We did make that mistake early on. We had the the bogey in six, but apart from that, it's pretty pretty easy course. Which is worrying when you're you're looking at if I play the same quality I did last week, I'm gonna my scores are not gonna count. But that course was playing pretty easy. It was a nice course, I enjoyed playing it. So that is gonna conclude this uh, this video. Again I'd rate that I mean I'd probably give that a five stars to be honest. I think it's a nice course. So there we go, tied for the lead. I imagine the south stand's going to be maybe 12, 13 under or something. I imagine somebody's going to go above me. Let's go back to the home page. What's my handicap? Oh, what is? No, wait! I thought that said plus 50. Jeez, man, that was. So my handicap's not up. And your eyesight's not My eyesight's just uh, it's not as good as what it used to be. Uh, but I think when I was playing bad, I was like plus 12 to 15, I think. So I'm playing better, and it's obviously reflecting that. Uh, but yeah, I'm quite happy with that. That was a, that was a good round of golf. But anyway, I'm off to eat my quiche. My quiche. Uh, I will play tomorrow. I'll, Very party. I'll finish off this event tomorrow. Um, and as I say, I don't know what I'm doing for the promotion TGC tours. There's two events: there's the normal event, and then there's the the promotion event. I plan on playing the promotion event because you don't get any like you know, the motion strikes because it's just a one-off event. So I may play that at some point, maybe even later oh, tonight. But, um, uh. see, I don't know what my plans are. But anyway, take care. Just for watching the video, hit it with a like, subscribe, all that stuff, and I'll catch you later. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye!